I love a hair tutorial. Okay, so here we are. A video for my ladies who have either long bangs or are trying to grow out a bang. I want to show you how to get the most bang for your buck, how to have styling options. If you feel like you're stuck in this neither here nor there phase, they fall in your face, you don't know what to do, and they're making you crazy, I want to show you some options, some styling techniques to help you blend the bangs in with the rest of the hair if uh, you just want to have some options in playing around. Now, let me say this before I launch into the video. This will only work with a longer bang. If you have a short bang that comes to the eyebrow, you're going to be limited in how much you can do. It also depends on how thick your bangs are and how far back they go. But the less bang you have, the more option you will have. So I do want to show you options. I want to launch into it. I have my hair dryer here, my Elchem that I've used forever in a day. I have a Hot Tools curling iron, about an inch and a quarter barrel. I have a uh, flat iron by Cloud9 on a high heat, but not all the way. A lot of them go by temperature and degrees. I try to stay under 400 if I can, around 380, 390. It's better for the hair. Um, I'll be using this. I have a round brush, a teasing brush, a thinner comb should I need it for teasing, um, bobby pins, and uh, of course, living proof amp to get it to move up. Okay, so the first look that I want to show you really utilizes straight hair. And I, and I do want to show techniques for different hair textures and types because not all hair is created equal. So if you have straight hair, which I do not, but I did blow dry it poker straight to be able to show you this option today. And it's very simple. I take a bobby pin and really all you need is about one. And what we're going to do is really manipulate and lift this front section right here. So you would grab your bang section. Mine really is only a small chunk in the front. So I'm going to take a few other sections to the side. If you need to, just to get it all to go back, take your round brush and your blow dryer and just hit it. You're trying to blend your bang in with the rest of your hair. And then you can hold it like this and let it cool for a second. And what we're going to do is essentially clip this little part up to get it off of your face. It's a very easy and simple way to have a bang-free look. A lot of gals do this when they're trying to grow out their bangs. So once you've taken this section and you've teased it a little bit, you can take it and smooth it back a little. I just like to take it and even give it a little twist. You're just doing a little bump right up here on top. And once you've twisted it, you can secure it with a bobby pin. Tease on the underside. A little tease in the back, never hurt. You just take your hairspray, lift a little bit on the side, and that's it. And you just hit it with hairspray wherever you feel you need to. But uh, super cute, simple, easy way to get your hair off your face, and then nobody knows it's there. So this is bang off of the face look one for my straight haired gals. So from here, we now take this out, and the other thing that we can do is the beauty of, you see what happened as I sprayed this? Suddenly, bangs give a lot of lift at the root line. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to go for a more dramatic part on the side, and then I'm going to start teasing with my comb. Use that type of a comb where you can do a thicker one. And I'm going to do a stronger side part now. So now, I'm going to take my Living Proof Amp, just a snidge, little goes a long way. This is a great root volumizer as well. Take it around the front and start to pull it back. And you can do one of two things. You can just pull it back and spray it, or if you want, you can take a bobby pin and really tuck this. Tuck it and then anchor that. You really will have to hit the front part with hairspray. These stay up with the rest. These can come down. 
total side swept. Wouldn't even know I had bangs, would you? What's neat about this is if you have a um, evening gown, if you're doing something that's you know low on the neckline or you've got a really bold earring, great, great look to showcase earrings, necklaces, things like that. So here we go, super sleek and off the face. Now our next transition is going to be for my curly or wavy haired girls. My hair is naturally curly slash wavy, but I always straighten it at first and then we'll add the curl to it. And if you have a relatively light bang, they hide very well in a center part. And even just with the product that I used in the spray with a straight look, I can just tuck it back like this. Actually, this might be another look. I think I've added one. Okay, well, how about that? Threw in an extra one just for good luck. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do the curl in the wave. And you have an option here. You can do either a flat iron or a curling iron curl, or you can alternate between the two, which creates an interesting look. I'm going to use, because I want more of a wavy look than a curly look, I'm, I'm going to use thicker hair sections here. So with the flat iron, again, I'm taking all of it. It's starting not right at the hairline, but a little bit below, and I'm just rolling it all back and pulling it through. And I'm going to work my way around my hair. Now, another important thing is, like I said, to already have product in your hair, it will curl and wave much better if there's product, hairspray, some kind of a binding agent. So the uh, Living Proof Amp that I just used also, big help. And I apologize if this shirt is making noise over my microphone. I keep paying attention to that. I hope it's not. And I'm just going to work my way around, twisting and creating waves. Same thing on the other side here. You grip it and you just twist it back. And then the key is that you want to let it sit and cool. And so through the magic of editing, I will speed up this process for you. So the key here is getting your bang to wave and twist in with the rest. I could have just shown you that, but then we would have had a wave here and straight hair here, and it would have been a totally incomplete look. But you want to blend those two together, let those cool, wave everything else back, and then what we'll do, I've already used AMP, but if you have not at this point, then what you would do is take a little bit of AMP, rub it through your hands, pull everything out and through. Again, it works as a lifter and a binding agent, so it's gonna keep it all together. I'm just gonna take my hands and run it through, and that's it. And then what I will do is just sort of shake it so I can lift along my root line. Use your fingers, create a little lift right here where the bang is. Hold it and spray it if you wanna get a little volume there but you got all kinds of options. So this is the center part wave, getting your bangs integrated with the rest of your hair. Ta-da! Okay, and moving on to the last look. As you can see, here's the length of the bang, okay? So I'm, I'm kind of like the, the shaggy sheepdog. So now what I'm going to do with the wavy hair is the same thing that I did with the straight hair. We're going to do that extreme part. Come up with your part position. Again, you can either clip it and secure it with a pin, but considering how long that took last time, I'm just going to swoop it back with some hairspray. And now you have all of this. And again, what the bang does is it creates all this volume up here, which is a good thing because our friends who have long layers up here, it's harder for them to get a lot of lift. So you're gonna get that. And then you just take your hairspray, spray on the underside, and then you just take your finger and you shake, spray on the underside, and it is as simple as that. 
And there you go. I, you know, looking at this, you would you would never know that I had a decent bang up front. So a very simple, easy, the key to all of this is quick. To be able to get your bangs out of your face, to show you some options, to let you feel that you are not stuck and limited by a certain haircut. That is the one thing that I want to impart on this channel. You have seen me go through so many different lengths, cuts, textures, colors. We are not limited by one look. We have options and it just takes a little play and a little practice to make it happen. So there you have it. I, I think I did one, two, three, four, four, three, four, five. I, I've lost count. There was a bonus style in there somewhere. But anyway, lots of options with your long bangs or your grow out phase. Don't feel stuck in a rut. Have fun with it. Play around and do a bang up job. Don't you? Thank you for being with me today. Comments, suggestions, ideas, you name it. I'm here for you. I love hair tutorials. I can't do enough of them because I'm just one of those gals who likes to sit at her boudoir and play with her hair. That's just the way I am. Anyway, I encourage you to have fun and explore what you have and look in the mirror every day and put a big old smile on your face because it starts there. Smile at yourself first and you will smile at the world. Go out, be bold, be blessed this week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.